As we get more and more quads using the DJI Digital FPV system, we need flight controllers that fully support it. And there's quite a few around that provide the necessary UARTs and a cable to make it straightforward to wire up the air unit. But if you're planning to run your quad on 5 or 6S batteries, you've got a bit of a problem. The air unit is designed to run directly off your flight battery, but only up to 4S. So you need to find a different way to power it. This new Star F7 6S all-in-one flight controller from Raystar solves that. It's got a built-in 9 volt back designed to power the DJI air unit directly. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is a really nicely made flight controller. It's a six layer PCB made from three ounce copper and it just feels like a solid quality product. And the first thing you notice is it's bristling with noise suppression capacitors down both sides where the ESC outputs are for the motors. Now what we've got here is an F7 all-in-one flight controller with a 40 amp four-in-one ESC with all the usual bits and pieces you'd expect. BL Heli 32, Betaflight OSD, a 5 volt BEC, 4 UARTs and so on. But you also get a 9 volt 3 amp BEC to power your DJI air unit. There's dual camera inputs and there's a dedicated soft serial port for anything else that you want. So you've pretty much got enough IO options to add GPS or optical flow sensors, whatever you need. And this one came flashed with Betaflight 4.2 on the VGood F722 dual target, so it's pretty much slap bang up to date. You also get a bunch of mounting hardware, including some soft mount gummies in here. This is a 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter mounting pattern, fairly standard. You get this air unit connector to plug straight into your air unit when it's soldered on the board, and you get a lower ESR capacitor for video noise suppression. So on this side of the board you've got the main STM32 F722 chip and the MPU6000 gyro and accelerometer down here. Up here there's the 5 volt 3 amp back and that's the current sensor down there and the USB connector is weirdly located next to the main battery pads. Now, Raystar say this is to minimise interference and noise, which is a bit difficult to test, but it's actually a pretty good place to mount it. Normally it would be on the side here, on this side or this side between the ESC pads, but I think this is an easier position to get at when the quads are all together, especially if you've got ducts. Now one other thing that I noticed in the pack, you get a little dust cap socket there which is pretty nice. On the flip side up here this is the 9 volt 3 amp BEC to power the air unit and these are all the FETs for the motors. Now if we look round this board these are the pads for the receiver down here. You've got ground, 5 volts, S bus, RSSI if you use it and the top two are UART6 which is TX6 and RX6 maybe for a GPS module and there's the usual boot button and along the top here you've got the FPV camera connections you've got ground and 5 volts next is a dedicated soft serial pin and then there's two camera video in pads there's a spare battery plus in the middle if you need it. And the last four pins here are for an analog VTX if you're using one. You've got video out, smart audio, which is UART4, TX4 and 5 volts and ground. And the way that all these pins are positioned make it very easy to wire things up because they're all just next to each other. The only thing that could improve this is an extra pair of power pins over this side to make it easy to wire two cameras. Soldering two pins onto one pad can be a bit fiddly. And as we go down here, we've got a three volt pad to power your spectrum receiver, UART1, some lead serial and buzzer pads down at the bottom. And on the flip side, at the top, are these six pins for the DJI connector. 
Raystar include this cable and the air unit connector. So all you need to do is solder this in the right order along here and you're pretty much ready to go. The nine volts power for the air unit is supplied through one of those pins and it makes wiring this up really easy. And then you've got all the FETs for the motors and this runs BL Heli 32 with all the usual protocols up to D-Shot 1200. So you'll be able to run this with Betaflight 4.2 RPM filtering with no problem. Down at the bottom here, there's two battery pads and I think they could have made this legend a little bit bigger for the plus and the minus with a slightly bigger font. And you can run this on 2S up to 6S. Now overall, Raystar seem to have produced a very nice all-in-one board that's perfect if you're building, say, a five, six or seven inch quad that uses the DJI air unit. If you're using a DJI controller as well, then all you've got to do is wire this up to the motors, connect the DJI cable and an XT60 battery cable down the bottom here, and you're done, which makes for a really quick build. And it still supports regular analog VTX systems with the pins up the top here. So you've pretty much got the best of both worlds. The price on this is a very reasonable £50 or around $66 and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check the latest prices. As always, thanks for watching and if you found that useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and if you want to see more like this remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.